It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Erling Haaland. And playing it back. Pivotal moment defensively. Anthony. Anthony. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Or can they open up the defence here? Bruno Fernandes. Nicely timed tackle. Gvardiol. Here's Juan Bissaka. And it's with Amrabat. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. City have the ball again. Jack Grealish Gvardiol and it's Ruben Dias Ruben Dias Walker now Foden Significant acreage for City to run into. Diesch. And De Bruyne in a useful looking position, but will there be an end product? Can they jump in front? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. It's gone out of play under real duress. Bernardo Silva. Will he finish? In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. <laughs> A 
the first half here comes to an end So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And a timely intervention. On to Juan Bissaka. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Bruno Fernandes has it. Plenty of support here. Nice weight on the pass. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Trying to deliver it accurately. Just too much height on that one. Close shave, though. That's a lovely ball. And the ball back with United. Decisive in the tackle and the throw in here. Diogo Dallo and United will get the throw in. Casemiro. It's with Martinez. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo. And it's with Amrabat. And he read it well defensively. Throw into Manchester City. Here's a change for Manchester United. Walker. Phil Foden now. Foden. De Bruyne now. Grealish can he put them in front tremendous block oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack incisive pass and into the last 20 minutes Walker a bit of headway Rodri and Bernardo Silva has it for the lead here still alive well it's still all level here thanks to that magnificent piece of goalkeeping you just can't believe that City haven't taken the lead here Positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Might be dangerous. And a very good challenge. Anthony. And it's with Amrabat. 
Bruno Fernandes has it. Anthony. Johnny Evans with it. Mastery of the passing game. Anthony. Hoylund. And teammates around him. Well, just the tackle that was needed. And if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Holland. De Bruyne now. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Really important tackle. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And fed back to the goalkeeper. Here's Juan Bissaka. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Sofian Amrabat. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Kevin De Bruyne. Nicely timed tackle. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Holland. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Can they open things up? Potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. A change in the offing for City. Put in by De Bruyne. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Number eight, Mateo Kovacic. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Lovely work to get past his man. To be replaced by number 39, Scott McTarney. Grealish. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Casemiro. Christian Eriksen now. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in their future? They really look after the ball when they have it. Lisandro Martinez. A very effective challenge put in. Well, he keeps going. Options in the centre. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. So after 90 minutes and then extra time, an even picture in this Europa League final and a penalty shootout will follow.
And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And it's gone in. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. Job done from the spot. He's gambled on direction and won. And there it is, perfectly executed. And he's beaten the keeper. And he steps up to take his penalty. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. He might be wishing that hadn't been his plan of attack. But it comes down to this. In, and they win. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion. And a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. to be celebrating good times in the Europa League and now the trophy awaits them well these are always great moments for any player this is the culmination of a great tournament they've had they fully deserve this victory every player played his part tonight this is what they've wanted now it's in their possession the winners of the UEFA Europa League